my day just went so I had a plane flight back to New York for my final presentation and a final I just have two more things left and the plane decided want to be delayed and let me tell you the reason why it was delayed it was delayed because it was too many planes at the airport in New York what so we literally boarded the plane got to like where we're gonna take off waited 30 minutes and said oh we're turning back around so you guys can get off the plane waited a whole nother hour and at this point we were supposed to be here in New York at 344 because my presentation was at 630 and it was about five o'clock at this point where they're like oh you know we don't know if we're leaving we got back on the plane got back on the plane for them to say when we pull up oh it may be delayed a little more almost had a heart attack so from the airport it's like 30 minutes away so finally I get to the airport I'm running trying to get my bag the bag things not coming I'm like yo everything possible could be going slow even when we pulled up to the airport like we were just sitting there I'm like why are we not at the gate already like this never happens on the day that I need to be somewhere this wants to happen so luckily I got in the uber car or whatever I told the uber driver we got to go here fast 38 minute drive I think we got here in like 20 minutes literally he was flying I told him I have a presentation I have to be to so he got me here um and I made it to my presentation I think like 45 minutes late but the group was stalling so I made it but that was really stressful I think I had a panic attack on the plane I couldn't breathe I was just freaking out because me not going to the presentation like presenting my project I would have failed that class so Woosa. and I only have one more final tomorrow then I'll be finished my dad is coming to get my stuff today he um he's on his way right now he'll be here at like 11 p.m. so I'm about to pack up the rest of my stuff and throw away anything else that I don't need because a lot seem like I have a lot of stuff also Jack you guys have been asking about Jack she right here hey. Jack Lack right here and she packing too we just finals y'all I don't understand like this <laughs> final stuff is uh stressful but Jack Lack's right here you know doing laundry yeah yeah, she got a whole lot of stuff. You leaving tomorrow? What time? Um, I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know. Oh, okay. Cause it's not like my flight's till Wednesday morning. Oh, you're staying here overnight? Mm -hmm. You got approval? <laughs> I'm gonna stay over my brother's house. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was about to say, uh. Good morning, guys. I have an hour and a half until my last final of my junior year. I have me set up right here. I'm going to dedicate this time to um, studying, looking over some notes, um, and then we take the final. My dad came and picked up some of my stuff yesterday, so literally I just have um, to clear off my desk and pack up my one little suitcase. The closet's cleaned out, under my bed's cleaned out. All my drawers are basically cleaned out. It's just stuff on top of it. So that's where I'm at today. This is so exciting. I'm nervous, but <laughs> so exciting. So let me get to studying, guys. Guys, I have my pencil and pen in hand. I am as ready as I'm going to be for this test, so I might as well, you know. We just go ahead. I'm about to go to class, and then... After that, I will come back, finish up my room, and be out, be out of this thing. Let's see, I think I have a snack. Fruit Loops. <laughs> so Jack got a storage unit. He's up there putting stuff in it. I don't actually like this. This, 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 making my head hurt. So all her school stuff is packed up for the summertime. Summer, summer, summer. This is not safe. It just isn't. It's always something happening in New York. Not that I know what. <laughs> Thank you. 
real quick. Lunch date with my Jack for the last time this semester. Which I'm kind of sad about. She got Shake Shack and waited in this long line for it. So guys, we're back where we first started. A place that's completely cleared out. This is so bittersweet right now. Seriously, I'm just like, <laughs> it's over guys. My junior year of college is over. It went so freaking fast. Oh my God. <laughs> This is crazy. Room completely empty. This looks so weird. So I have my bags at the door. Get my purse. And I'm ready to go with my bags. So guys, I had to do one last thing while I was in New York and that is have a meet and greet. So I am currently on the way to Fever 21 to meet my glands and I'm so excited. We were in traffic so I'm late. I mean, I'm gonna be late to my own meet and greet, but it's all good. So guys, I'm at my meet and greet! Hey. So we are actually walking to Hard Rock Cafe right now. I have a few behind me. You see, we're trying to make our way down, making our way downtown, walking fast. Faces passing we're home now. We got a crowd in a crowd, y'all. She said it best. So guys, I have my food, but I actually got kicked out of my table just because there's so many tables. So let's go look at all of the tables. So this is one of the tables. Have some glass here. Say hey. So that's one. And then if we go around here we have another table of glam over here say hey y'all hey. <laughs> so then we got that table and then if i walk all the way down here we got y'all say hey so i have all of them too and then and then we have more people around here hey guys how are you so pretty more people say And then finally, our last table is down here. Say hey guys! <laughs> so yeah, I have all these tables. So I'm gonna go back up and eat my food because I don't actually have a table anymore. But it's okay, I'll be back. Did y'all order the? Okay. So guys, we're at the restaurant. We got some Merle girls, Woo! <laughs> Okay, let's go get y'all a table. Okay guys, so we're here at my meet and greet. These are the girls. it's my last day here in New York and I kind of just wanted to reflect on the year that I've had here and my junior year it has been an amazing year stressful um, a little bit challenging definitely new experiences but nonetheless an amazing year I feel like I've grown so much from the start I can't believe that I am a senior now going into my senior year it feels like I just started my freshman year of college. I just left high school and now I'm going into my last year of college. Um, so to wrap up the semester, grades are in. Let me go to my app. If you didn't know, I was taking seven classes and my first semester um, was a bit challenging because I had never took seven classes before as well as having a big change in a move, meeting new people, new environment, that type of thing. So that was <laughs> extremely challenging for me. And definitely my next semester because I did it already, I could kind of, you know, manage it better. I don't want to say it got easier at all, but just because you when you do something you kind of fill out your little groove of how you can make stuff work. So through the semester, I got five B's and two C's and I'm actually very happy with my grades just because seven classes is no joke to handle. As a lot of you guys know, I had a presentation in every single class. I had a final project in every single class. 
I had papers, like I had so much work and to manage seven freaking classes with seven teachers um, that have different teaching styles, I'm proud of myself. Um, taking seven classes is not like taking four classes. Managing four classes, now that I've taken seven classes, is like a piece of cake. Like, people stressing about four classes? No, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it at all. Try my course load. Um, so I'm really happy with my grades. When I called my mom to tell my mom, I was kind of like, she's going to be mad at these two C's I got. But um, it was rough. It was a rough semester and I pushed through and I passed all my classes. So I'm very happy about that. Um, seven classes is not over for me. <laughs> I'm going to be taking seven classes until I finish college. But that comes with me getting two degrees in four years they're really trying to stuff two degrees in four years which technically i'm not supposed to graduate in four years would i recommend my program that i'm in you have to have a lot of determination and self-drive to do this because it limits you from enjoying your college experience because you're doing so much now <clears throat> am i happy i did it yes if I had to do it over, would I do it again? I, I don't know if I would choose this route um, and do everything, but I'm, I'm trying to put it in perspective of like what goes, what a regular college student may do because some college students do work. So although I don't have a typical job, I do make YouTube videos and trying to even manage that was a struggle. So I can only imagine a student who does want to go to live in New York which is an expensive place to live at, you would be managing a job and seven classes. So I bring in my own little side hustle of income that let me do stuff in New York. But um, even my roommates, they got a job. Jackie got a job. Um, my other roommate, she interned somewhere. So that actually paid. So you do need that extra income living in New York it's just expensive point blank period everything is expensive you want to do stuff you need money and I don't know about you guys but my parents don't give me money so you have to figure out your own way of getting that extra money but yeah um I'm happy it's <laughs> over my flight is today at five o'clock so I will be going back home and um in July I'll be moving back to Maryland and getting my apartment, moving into my apartment. I did get an apartment, it is not one that I showed. So I'll be showing you guys that once I move in and already like picked out my uh, room accessories. What, what do we call it? Um, room interior, like the bed frame and like that. So I'm really excited about that. I know the number one question I get is, am I sad that I'm leaving New York and um, just because I knew that I had to leave, that's why I'm not as sad because I knew I had to leave. Of course, it's unfortunate that I have to go back to the middle of nowhere. I've said this multiple times on my channel and I feel like people ignore it, but I hate my other school. I don't. Like, it's the middle of nowhere. I thought when I applied to that school, because it was in Maryland, it wasn't the middle of nowhere. But it's like even more of the middle of nowhere than North Carolina, where I'm at in North Carolina. If that makes any type of sense it's just the middle of nowhere and i hate like when i graduate i'm going to move back to new york um i was thinking about california but that's just too far from my family and like actual like settling down with someone and having a family in california like my family is on this side of the world you know california is like that side of the world for for real. so um <clears throat> i do plan on moving back here i have one more year and i just have to push through and it's such an amazing feeling to like have one more year but i'm really nervous because i still have to do it you know i have to go back to my other school and even though i don't want to bash my school that much because this is my personal feeling that i don't like the school but i do have fun times there i'm the type of person i make do with what i have and i will have fun and i will you know try to make the best of it that doesn't mean I like it. <laughs> um, I know throughout the year I'll call my mom and like, I hate it here. I hate it here. Um, that's my personal preference. 
people always people that know what school i go to will email me like oh tell me about your school no i don't have nothing to say i don't like it um at all guys i'm so happy it's the summertime my time in new york has came to an end i'm about to pack up my suitcase and get ready to go to the airport um new york was amazing um but it's time to go now make sure that you guys are subscribed to my youtube channel because my summer vlogs will be coming my summer vlog series um of being home partying what i'm doing for the summer i'm traveling a lot so make sure you're subscribed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys